I chose film because I realized that everything I do involves writing, and then I, later I realized that everything I like is te on television, and I want to become a part of that. Um, I knew I wanted to be involved in film since I was 14 years old. Uh, that's when I started editing, that's when I started with, you know, using Photoshop and using the computer and just working with all that stuff and as soon as I started that I knew that I wanted to be a film editor. I mean, I've been going to see movies with my family, like my whole life. I remember Independence Day when the alien crashes through the glass and scared the hell out of me. I was also really afraid of Chucky as a kid. Um, yeah, so movies had an emotional impact on me. Well, growing up, I've always had a passion for film. Like, ever since I was a little kid, I was big into movies, and I always thought that, you know, I admired directors like Steven Spielberg, James Cameron, Martin Scorsese, and Christopher Nolan. I always thought to myself, what, like, what, like, why not to try to be a Duke? Try, why not try to make great films like they did? And the film, so film's always been my passion since I was, like, getting nine years old. Money. Um, I don't really have a lot of money to go to college, and the fact that going to a community college, uh, I haven't paid a cent because I get full financial aid. If I were to go to a university, I probably would not get full financial aid because of how much money you have to pay to go to a university. But since Bucks is affordable, I get all the financial aid that I need to go here. Um, well. It's cheaper than going to a four-year school. Well, Bucks, I was actually uh, forced to come here because my parents uh, thought I would slack off if I went to a regular college, so they wanted me to come here for a few years to see if I could handle it, then eventually transfer to a different school. Department of Arts is made up of communication studies, performance, music, fine arts, graphic design, multimedia, fine woodworking, and lastly, the most important area, cinema video. Um, we have uh, uh, the HD cameras. Um, we have the new 7Ds. We're getting in the new 5Ds, uh, which are like the 35 millimeter uh, cameras that uh, capture HD video. Students seem to really like those. And we have some of the older cameras, like the GL1s and GL2. We have um, audio recording device, like the Marantz and Zoom and we a light lighting kit so the students can sign out a lighting kit with umbrellas they can sign out sign out an audio kit and usually they get two or three days with those kits as well as the cameras for two or three days and we have uh, the 16 millimeter Bolex cameras as well film would be that if you learn that first or anywhere, actually anywhere along the line, you basically um, have a lot of different knowledge as far as how to approach video. It teaches you to be a little more conservative. It teaches you to plan out your uh, shoots a lot more you know, closely. It's just about organization. I film one basically is uh, a wild, it's called a wild track. It's not, not the same sound. Uh, you can put music with it and play along with it, or but it's not sync sound, so there's no lip sync. Film two, there's lip sync, and the final project is sync sound. The final project can be shot on film and transferred to video, and film three is pretty much all digital. Now, this is a difficult question because uh, I do sometimes look at certain areas like the students that take glass blowing, and I think of them as being different. <laughs> um, and I also have that sense about the cinema video students. Um, first of all, it's male dominated, and I'm not saying there aren't any females in the program or haven't come through, but that always produces a certain kind of animalistic, you know, level to how things are said and done. But it all comes out very clean in the productions. I'm always very impressed and they have improved tremendously. But uh, I, I find them animated. I find them playful. I find them to be the kind of student that it's just easy to strike up a conversation and, you know, are laid back and 
are inventive. And I'm not saying that doesn't happen in the other creative areas, but they just seem to be a little bit more open and, and uh, accessible.